This is Twit. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about where we're at right now. Obviously, things are, are really complicated from a technical perspective. Why are why is the internet so insecure on so many levels right now? And I realize that's a really broad question to ask because you go into so much detail in your book. Uh, what would you say to start us off? Well, so let's just talk about a few things. So the first is that most software is poorly written and insecure. Right? We don't want to pay for quality software. With the possible exception of things like the space shuttle, the market doesn't reward well-written software. Right? Poorly written software is full of bugs. Some of them are vulnerabilities. So the software we use is filled with security vulnerabilities. That's simply economics. Right? For that to change, we're going to have to agree to pay much more for software than we do today. I'm not convinced the market will, will bear that. Second reason is that we never designed the internet with security in mind. Now, that seems absolutely crazy when I say it today, but if you go back to the late 70s and early 80s, there were two things true about the internet. One, it wasn't used for anything important ever. And two, you had to be a member of an accredited research institution to get access to it in the first place. So for those two reasons, the designers of the internet deliberately decided to ignore security. I mean, it was a design choice. And the idea was that if a process needed security, it could do it at the endpoints. And we're still living with the effects of that decision in packet security, domain name security, routing, email, kind of everything, right? We never built security in from the beginning. Third reason is that complex systems are insecure. Right? Complexity is the worst enemy of security, and it isn't very hard to secure a complex system. Internet's the most complex machine mankind has ever built. And your phone is the most complex machine sort of anywhere near you by a lot. And that makes it very hard. And then I guess I'll add that the market kind of doesn't reward security. So right now, we are in the middle of a massive data breach uh, from Marriott Hotels. Half a billion uh, records yeah. were exposed. I am a Starwood customer. I'm probably in that list. And Marriott will probably face no penalty for that. Or if they have a penalty, it'll be minor. And this is not unusual. A year and a half ago, Equifax... Massive data breach affected you, affected me. I testified before Congress yeah, over that. There were angry representatives on both sides of the aisle. Something must be done. Fast forward to today, nothing was done. Right? The moral of that was skimp on security, underspend, hope for the best. If the worst happens, weather the bad press, you'll be fine. That's the lesson Facebook is learning today. And that's the lesson Marriott will learn. So right now, we don't get security because that's not what the market is rewarding. There are probably other reasons, but that's, those are probably enough to start.